If you wish to be your own person, to have your own ego, then don't give in to what others call normal. Only you can defend your will and desires, your beliefs and morals, because in this unjust world formed of incomplete thoughts, your ego is what makes you who you are. Should the world deny your ego and refuse to accept it, then prove to the world that you live by your own rules. Are you awake? Then show me. Show me your ego. Here I go. Fruitless. Failure. What a shame. Uh, the world truly is a cruel and irrational place. <laughs> this little one just isn't good enough.
Well, Mr. New Student, your name, if you would. I see. How terribly charming. That's a wonderful name. Welcome to Shin Mikado Academy. I am Yoru, otherwise known as your Dean. Now, now. You can let your guard down. I just wanted to chat, is all. Especially with someone as extraordinary as you. I'm going to ask you a few questions. They'll pertain to your ego, and the seven desires that make up your will. What does school life mean to you? Well, you only live once. How about in class? Do you studiously take notes during lectures? Your teacher lauds the teacher's pet despite their bad grades. What do you think of this? It seems like your friend is about to mess something up. What do you do? You're standing in line for, hmm, let's say ramen. Someone cuts in front of you, but you've been waiting for ages. What do you do? You need money to fulfill your goals, but you're flat broke. What do you do? Have you ever looked at a naughty website? On your phone? Or your desktop, maybe? Okay, let's say you're at a buffet. How do you decide what to eat? A situation has already been settled, but someone insists on disagreeing. How do you respond? Someone you hate is loved by everyone around you. What do you think about that? You're forced to take on a leadership role. How do you make your decisions? Would you say you've ever truly loved someone? If you had extra free time and money, how would you spend it? What would you do if someone started spreading baseless rumors about you? Is there someone or something you care for with every fiber of your being? Choose one of these sets of words, would you? Your desire for lust surpasses all others. You long to both love and be loved. You value your relationships with others more than anything else in life. And so you're more influenced by your feelings, motivations, and connections with people. I'll bet your emotions vary depending on who's around. Hmm... It seems your desires are a bit lacking somehow. What desires you do have are strong, but you appear to lack balance. Are you afraid of wanting things? 
None of your desires should be neglected, you know. Without desires, your ego can't grow. Without an ego, you're no different from a doll. I want you to live as your own being as you attend this academy. And be cognizant of your desires. Thank you. I understand you so terribly well now. I never get to chat with others this much. It's nice. Life at the Academy may be tough, but I know you'll be able to adapt to it right away. Let's speak again if our paths cross. And remember, I'm expecting great things from you. Ta-ta! Wake up! He seems all right. Yeah. You're okay. You're really okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness. You okay? Can you stand? The mist is too thick. Let's move. <sighs> Stop. Hold up. <sighs> I'm beat. I think I'm actually dying. Can't go on. You're out of breath already? We barely moved. You really should exercise more often, Dr. Kakeru. Who's got the time? I'm a weak old man. You trying to kill me? Uh, was Nozama, was it? It's Nozome Hinata. You work here. The least you can do is remember the students' names. Hey, I'm a doctor, not a teacher. Besides, I'm more used to calling you Prez anyway. Mm hmm. So much has happened. I couldn't find you for a week. You have no idea how worried I was. I'm so glad you're okay, though. When we heard a student collapsed on the second floor, I never imagined it'd be your brother, Chio. The second year building is connected to this one. Maybe he came from over there. Hey, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? That's not very funny. This is no time to be joking, you know. Wait, you really can't remember? Huh? What's your name? You remember that much at least, right? I thought your last name was Aikawa. Um, well, our family isn't exactly a traditional one. Ah, I see. Can you remember anything besides your name? Family, friends, anything about the school?
I'll bet whatever made him collapse is also the cause of his amnesia. Well, the mist does tend to drive people crazy. We don't know much about it. It's bad for people with weak respiratory systems, though. Like Chico here. <laughs> but despite all that, your little sis came all the way here to see you. She wouldn't take no for an answer. You understand what I mean? Do you really have to ask? The least you could do is thank her. Don't worry about it. I'm just glad you're okay. <laughs> Welcome back. Well, we've had our little breather. Let's move. We should hurry on out of here. There's no mist on the first floor. It'll be safer there. Just unconscious. What about the rest of you? Everyone all right? Destiny. Wait, 
wait! Unhand me, you uncouth, unkind underling! The impudence instantly interrupting my interlude! Hurtful heathen! Deranged devil! Sadistic! Sadist, you may refer to me as Vanitas. your power to your pursuers. These dastardly dissidents are demons, lackeys of their lowest level, legions. But even the lowliest legion would leave a lack-witted lug like you lifeless. I, however, possess a plethora of power. Prostrate before me and pray I spare you. Show me the delightful sight of your struggle to survive this plight, and I just might. Hey! Have you heard even one single word I've said? Go at them unarmed and you're as good as dead. You are utterly deranged. Can't you just let me give you my cryptic, mystical spiel? A facade with no memories within expectation, but no manners or sense of self-preservation. Enough! Dealing with you is giving me a headache. I cannot lend you strength, but I can still assist. After all, fate is static. It'll always persist. is in a magic ear. Your soul made manifest. You'll need it in the other world to make it through the rest. The power of vanity is yours for the taking. A reflection of your ego, a fiend of your making. Now go and kill those things already. Here I go. Tempting. Here 
I go. <laughs> Where are your calls, your cheering cries? Return to your world now. Go! Claim your prize. <laughs> I don't take orders from you. With that, farewell and adieu. Bring your ego and power to bear against the irrational and unfair.